Hey guys, Andrew here, helping you level up in your life day by day. Wanted to help you guys out with a video today about the two fundamental mindset shifts that you need to make if you wanna be respected by other people. These are the two fundamental core problems I see a lot with people who don't seem to be respected by whether it's you know their family, their coworkers, their peers, their bosses, just a general lack of disrespect from other people in their lives. A lot of us can fall into this problem subconsciously if we're not aware of the triggers of this. I think it's going to be really valuable to shed some light on this specific topic and illuminate this part of your life. Number one is you need to stop caring so much what other people think. Caring what other people think of you is one of the biggest respect killers out there. There's really nothing that makes you disdain a person more and have a lack of respect for someone more than someone who completely has all of their self-worth wrapped around other people's opinions of them. But this doesn't mean you should completely throw out other people's views of you, their opinions, and their worldviews. It's not so much about not putting any stock into other people's opinions. It's, it's about not letting it completely control your self-worth. You know, because you should have some respect and some regard for other people's views of the world. Other people's reactions to your personality and your actions can also act as a mirror for your human behavior. And so you can use it as a gauge for your social efforts. If 100 people try a burger and 99% of them say that that burger is dry and it's bland and it leaves a bad taste in their mouth, it's probably a shitty burger, bro. You don't want to be that shitty burger. So pay attention to people's reactions to you and use it as a reference point to gauge your social efforts. And don't completely put all of your self-respect in other people's opinions. It's about finding that nice, happy, sweet spot. You shouldn't be completely modifying your personality to be trying to fit into the exact specific mold that all of society and all your peers want you to fit into or that you think they want you to fit into. If you completely try to change exactly who you are and try to fit a specific mold for other people, this is gonna make you reek of neediness and inauthenticity. And it will just repel good quality people that you would want in your life. The people I personally respect most in life are people who, number one, hold true to their core values, but also, number two, don't compromise who they are for the opinions of other people. If you are acting 100% authentically, trying to add the value you know you can add to the world and society at large, not everyone's gonna be okay with that. Not everyone's gonna resonate with that. Not everyone is gonna like you. Not everyone is going to agree with 100% of what you do say and stand for. But your unapologetic authenticity, it's going to garner massive amounts of respect from the people who it does matter from. The second mindset shift that you need to make in yourself is you need to start thinking about how you can add value to the world. No one fucking likes a taker. If you are coming into every single situation with a taker's mentality, thinking about how you can benefit in every situation, how you can suck every last bit of value out of every situation from everyone, nobody's going to respect you. Whether it's a business setting, a social setting, or just you trying to garner a friendship with somebody else, having a taker's mentality and trying to steal every last bit of value out of a situation is going to absolutely repel people and will massively hurt your social standing. People won't respect you. When high value people see someone who's desperately trying to grasp and claw at every last bit of validation and approval they can get their hands on while giving as little value as possible, it absolutely repulses them. It signals to them that you are a person of very, very little substance and that you are coming from a place of extreme lack. You're afraid to give it to other people and you're afraid to give value to the world because you have nothing to give. You're poor mentally. You're living in a state of internal poverty. To gain the respect of people in your life, you have to realize and identify with the abundance you already do have in your life. You must realize it, be grateful for it, and give from that place. I don't necessarily mean buying a bunch of gifts and giving them to other people or giving people a bunch of money, although your giving could take that form. It could be confidently giving encouragement, confidently giving your opinion, or just giving a smile to someone, spreading positive energy. And that's the most valuable one, where you have such an abundance of positive happiness and joy and good energy inside of you, and you just go around to the world spreading it, spreading it here, spreading it there, talking to people, spreading good vibes. It's about being in a place of abundance and giving from that abundance. It's also about coming to the realization that just your mere existence is valuable in of itself because you, as cringy as this may sound, you in of itself are valuable. Once you're able to grasp this concept and really feel and know your own value in the core of who you are, it's completely going to shift how others see you. You will come across as an individual who lives in a place of abundance and not as a person who lives in a place of poverty and constant lack. It's 
hard to respect somebody that is poor and it's hard to not respect somebody who is rich, whether that is with physical wealth, money, or just rich in their mentality. Make these two mindset shifts and change the way you look at the world. Stop caring so much about what other people think of you and start coming from a place of realizing your own self-worth, your own abundance, and giving to others from that place. And those are the first two steps you need to take in the journey of becoming a man or a woman worthy of respect. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. I hope you got a lot of value from it. Consider subscribing if you're ready to level up your fucking life. Yeah.